Just two weeks ago, the Cleveland Browns were running away from the competition in the AFC Central Division. Now they are a team on the wane, a team desperately searching for that old title magic. Against the resurgent Atlanta Falcons, the Browns mustered but two scores. One came on a brilliant effort by Bo Scott. The other on a pass from quarterback Bill Nelson to number 86, Gary Collins. Unfortunately for Cleveland, both touchdowns were minor victories in a game totally dominated by the Falcons. Atlanta's punter, Billy Lothridge, won the annual Gary Collins Die Like a Swan El Foldo Award and later gave a fair portrayal of a quarterback, which he was many years ago at Georgia Tech. Atlanta's defensive front four got to the Browns' setbacks almost as fast as the ball. Led by number 71, John Zook, the foursome road roughshod over the Browns' blockers and smashed down their gimpy-legged quarterback. All this pressure caused Nelson to throw too hurriedly, and his helium balls floated down dreamily into the eager awaiting hands of the Atlanta secondary. Four times Nelson was intercepted, and one of them was converted into a 40-yard touchdown by linebacker Don Hansen, number 58. The Browns were not easy to run against, but they found Falcon setbacks hard to handle. Number 11, Dick Shiner, is a vagabond quarterback who has been no better than second best with several NFL teams. Now, under the guidance of Norm Van Brocklin, his perfect spirals are finally finding their mark. Twice, Shiner pierced the Browns' collapsing zone for touchdown. The first went to velvet-fingered rookie Ken Burrow, number 82. The second was a feathery lob to Jim Mitchell, a tight end whose star is on the rise. For Cleveland, it was their second straight hometown humiliation. For Atlanta, it was another leg up in the three-horse race in the NFC West.